Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? I'm just popping on for, uh, I think this will be a quick video. <clears throat> I was on a live with Maria this morning. This is Saturday morning. Felt like I needed a drink there. <clears throat> a little bit of a dry throat maybe. Anyway, sip of coffee and we're on our way. So welcome to my channel. I was on a live with Maria as I was saying and... Uh, we're working on our friend journals, and then she's working on her second one. I'm working on my first one. So I wanted to share real quick because after the live, at the, during the live, I think I did like a front and a back of a page and started on another like third or maybe even a fourth, you know, back, front and back. So two front and backs. So uh, I wanted to just, while I had everything here, I was working on it, and I'm trying to clean up my craft room. So I wanted to just finish this little project and move on to another part of my craft room that I want to clean up today. So I thought I'd share if you've never done a friend journal and if you've, you know, or this could be any type of journal, of course, but if you've never done, if you have happy mail and friend mail and things like that that you want to put into a journal and you've been putting off starting it, you know, I want to encourage you to go ahead and start one. I mean, it's it's your journal. This is your journal. This is not for anyone else. So you can do whatever you want. So I'll just show you what I've done so far. This this is the Maria page right here. This is all Happy Mail from Maria and, you know, cards and things. Except for this right here I created as a little sign that I did for her VR. There's a card in here. And this is a card that looks like Maria made. So that's really cool. It's really neat to look back and see what people sent you and what they said and what they, you know, what kind of event it was from or did you win it? Did you get it in the happy mail? So that's all things for Maria. This, this, I put this little flower here. Even this little apple paper clip is from Maria. So super cute page here. Uh, and I, this page and a few pages in here, I have used file folder as my base and I put this one has a copied piece of my copied uh, vintage linen on it. So that's the background here. As you see these flowers, that's what that's from. And then everything else is from Happy Mail, except for this I made and that flower I added. And I did put the date that I created this page right here. Just so I can, you know, if I want to look back, I can get the approximate date from when maybe this, these things were from if they don't have a date on them. Let me see if any of these have a date on them. So, and then that gave me the idea of when I do send out, this does have a date right here. This is from July. So, you know, that gives me another reference, you know, as to when approximately these things happened. So, uh, so that was my first page. And then, so what I did was when I picked up my happy mail, friend mail pile, I organized it by person <laughs> and put all the same persons together. I tried to anyway. So this was an envelope for Maria and this is the side that had her address on it. So this back part here is I show this in my Friday lunch craft with me where I had copied a doily. So that's what this is right here. A copied doily. Really pretty. It came out. I hope it, I don't know if it shows on the camera, but this is gorgeous in person. This is an envelope that just had the address on it, just a white envelope that had address and, you know, everything. So I covered that up with another piece of that vintage linen and some washi tape around the edges just for decoration. This was a, from a car, this was from a card from Maria. And I see I don't have a date on here yet. I need to write a date on here. That's kind of what I wanted to do right now too. Show you my friend journal and put a few things in here that I wanted to just do as I was finishing this up. So this is a card from Maria and I'm going to put today's date on here. Let's see, no, I created this yesterday. I have the date on this side, but I don't have it on this side. So I'm going to write it right here. Try to write neatly. This was 10 4 19. And I glued this little piece on here because I explained that in the video on Friday why I did it, what I did on this page. So that's that one and then this I created this morning I did all these three fronts and backs oh it's four fronts and backs this morning 
during my live and after my live with Maria. So I was using up these stickers too. These are some, I have uh, used some pages from Daphne's Diary in here. And so these stickers were in there and I wanted to use these up. So uh, like what I have here, I have some eyebrows. <laughs> I have some eyes. I have some mouths or lips, hearts, bows, and I think these are shoes. I guess, I don't know, it was some activity in the uh, Daphne's Diary <laughs> magazine. So I want to put a few of these around. I want to use up the hearts especially. So I'm just going to put them wherever I feel like sticking them. There's one there. I already have a date here. But this is some different from different people in this page. Uh, this is from Renee. This is from, uh, I'm not sure who this is from. And then this is from Tammy. She sent me stamp, postage stamps. This is another little note here on graph paper. You see, this I made into a flip out attached by washi. This is from Tanya and this is from Samantha. So and just all it's so interesting to look at back at these and see all the different papers people used, you know. Isn't that cool? So that's that one. And I put one of the stickers there. So this one, let me move it over a little. I think you can see everything. This one is uh this page I was calling my flippy page because I had two flips on this one on this side, and this is a little flip up here. So like this is you can see this is what's left from the Daphne's diary page here. I can put something small here if I want to come back in and find something small to put there or if I get something else in the mail or whatever, come across a little desk ephemera, I think that would be cool in my friend journal. I can put something there. So that is a blank spot. This is actually a sticker right here. And this, and this is another note uh, right here. And then under here, let's see. Okay, that doesn't flip up anymore. That's just glued down right there. And this is blank right here. This is all Daphne's diary page, so I can put something here. This is a little note from someone here. This is from uh, Lori at Grammy's Keepsakes. Here's her card that she attached to this note that she has on a tag with a bold pen in a graph paper bag. And then <clears throat> here is, uh, this was some of JD's uh, artwork. This was a sign I made for Julia McNeil Crafts where I did a VR for her. So that's all on this page. So not like this needs any more on it. I think I'll put a sticker over here. A bow. And let me see where I want this. Maybe right here. And what else do I have left? I have, oh, here's another bow. I don't know if I'll use the eyelashes and the eyes and the feet and the lips, but uh, I just want to put some little, use up these stickers at least. Here's another, one more bow and then I'll be done with, unless I decide to use the rest of that later. Uh, let me put a little bow right here. It's kind of, I like when things overlap on the edge, so this, I know this is a tiny th thing, but it's, on the green, the pink, and it's overlaps there. So this is uh, this was from Kathy D. She made this card. This is a card from Aaliyah, and I couldn't fit all of Aaliyah's stuff on one page either. So I think I need to cut a little hole in here or something too, because it's you know going over there. But anyway, for right now, I won't. I'll do that later off camera. But this. This page here is the Aaliyah page, and I've got a card from her here with her business or, you know, card with her YouTube and everything, all her information. And then here is another card from Aaliyah right here, pretty kitty cat card. And let me make sure you can see. So that page is done, and I don't really have anything else that I want to stick in here right now, I don't think. I have some desk ephemera I could stick in here. Let's put that somewhere because I've been wanting to use this little piece and I love it. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. I talked about this in another video, but it's just a little, I think it's a dry cleaner tag and it has a staple in it and I just thought it was cute and I actually picked this up off the ground in front of my office building at work. <laughs> if you can believe that, that's what I did. And I just, I don't know, this whole industrial look of that little piece of paper caught my eye so there it is 
Now here's another piece of desk ephemera I could put in here. This is the word cut from a vintage pattern instructions, sewing pattern. So let's glue that in too, get it off my desk. <laughs> One way of, another way of cleaning off your, uh, your cleaning your craft room. Glue in all your little bits and pieces somewhere, whether it's a journal you're working on, or, you know, for someone else, for your Etsy, for your, your friend journal, just do it. <laughs> So uh, on to the next page. This page is a this is a piece of uh, magazine that I was experimenting with. This uh, happy right here, if you can see it. Uh, okay, it's a tattoo. This is a little note from Laura that I put here, and it's on a Brad that she had on here, so it gets to move around like that. And so this is my interactive page. I'm calling it. And then this is an envelope that I got from Laura, all pretty stamps. And I so bad wanted to cut out those stamps maybe and use them somewhere else, but I thought, no, I'm gonna use them in here. I'm gonna leave them in my own journal so I can remember and have this pretty, really beautiful envelope here. I mean, look at this, it's like a, a, you know, a plant or a vegetable. So it looks like a, maybe an artichoke or something, maybe a succulent of some kind. And then all these pretty stamps and decorations and washi. And that's how Laura decorated. So it's like her artwork. And then this is a letter from, this is not from Laura. This is from, this is from Mary Flower. And it happened to, you know, I put it in here, not really even realizing it's purple. And <clears throat> it looks so good against this green for one thing. And then I have purple right here too. I just, I just did it. And then I realized it was kind of, kind of color coordinated. So we just added the word cut there from the pattern. This is my doodling. Uh, this is my doodle in case, uh, I have never shown my doodle before, but this is my doodle. And what it is is connected curly, kind of curly cue arrows. <clears throat> That's how I do my, do my doodles. I've done that doodle since I was a teenager, a young teenager, <clears throat> sitting in class <laughs> or wherever, doing my doodle. And so I'm gonna continue this on this page and it's fun because you can make it go. It's simple, of course. I don't consider myself, you know, a drawer. I can't draw, a, you know, a face or anything complicated. But uh, it's simple and it's cool because it can go wherever you want it to go. <laughs> so if you don't have a doodle, you're welcome to borrow mine. And uh, doing it purple, I just happen to have this purple ink in here, pen. And it's on the green, and you know, I had this other purple here, and I was like, oh, you know, this is a purple pen. It's the perfect thing to write on here with. So I'm going to finish doing some more doodling on here off camera. And I'm going to write the date on here. Let's see, 10. I did this today, so I think today is 10 5 19, I believe. I did this, I did these two today. I didn't write the date on here, did I? Let me write my date up here 10. 10, if I can make a zero, 10, 5, 19. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I'm going to write the date over here because I have a space here. 10, 5, 19. Sorry if that's off camera. Okay, so we looked at this page and then the next page is, <clears throat> uh, let's see, what do I have? Grammy's keepsakes is sneaking out here. Okay, so this page right here, this is a. <laughs> Come back here. Okay, yeah, I'm cleaning up this desk after this video. <laughs> so, because of everything I have out here right now is pretty much for my friend journal. So, I have pulled a bunch of stuff out for this. But uh, these are all from Laura. This is, she has a date on this one. And then I wrote dates on this one because uh, I got this one back in August. And this I just got this week. And I put the date on each of these cards just for, because I wanted to. And so I don't really need another date unless I want to put the date I put it in here. But it's kind of obvious because I have it on the other side. But I'll write a little date here somewhere. Let me see. I'll put it up here. The date I did it. And then the date over here too. 10, 5, 19. I did all these pages today. I want to get it done. So on this page I have artwork. From I made it uh, a flip out because this is uh, artwork and a note from JD. 
So that's a flip out or flip tip in actually, I think that's called, <laughs> or you can call it a flip over. And then this is my 10 crafted questions, questions from when I did that video. So I wanted to just keep that. I just kind of jotted them down on a scrap piece of file folder when I did the video, you know, not planning on keeping it, but then I thought, well, you know, that would be cool to put in my journal. I'll just, I don't have my answers, but I have uh, one answer where I wrote down uh, for the top five crafty YouTube channels, I wrote down 11 channels <laughs> and I didn't say them all in the video. So, you know, I wouldn't, if I didn't have this, I wouldn't remember who I actually wrote down there because I wanted to say more, but I don't think I did say them all. So anyway, that's that page. So I have all this room left here. Just put a little postage stamp there. And this page is for future. I wanted to use these envelopes I got in Happy Mail. Let me just move this for a second because I've got my paper cutter over here in the way. But mm. this page, I was uh, thinking it would be good to do some pages for the future. So when I get future, if and when I get future Happy Mail or Friend Mail, I have something ready to go and just can glue it in here. And so I was trying to use up these envelopes because I received these in Happy Mail. I didn't want to throw them away. So I was thinking, well, maybe I'll decorate them and they'll be like, decorated envelopes in here for me so then I thought well as I was doing it I was like first of all I was like I was thinking uh how can I put this in here because it actually has some pretty decoration on this side of it I know you can't see it but this side of the envelope here has some pretty decoration that's the front of the envelope this is the back of the envelope that opens here so I put some washi up here as a hinge so in the future when I get future uh friend or happy mail I can open this up and put something in here this brown envelope it opens at the top there with a the little you know the little middle latch that's on those the prongs and then I can decorate also put something here that I get or even up here on the flap depending on what I get or and maybe I have something that like I have a bunch of happy mail from Laura that I need to sort through so you know, there may be something in there. I'll say, oh, I want to put this in my friend book. So I have space right here. I have space right here. And then I had another just blank envelope. And uh, so I decided to glue that down on this envelope and make like a double pocket here. So I have the brown envelope inside the brown envelope. I have in back of this. Actually, I need to put some glue on here, I see. But I'm going to have a pocket right here in back of this envelope. And then I have inside this envelope... And I have underneath here, this is Daphne's Diary pieced together scraps from Daphne's Diary pages that I put here. So I have all of this space to put something on. So for, you know, I, the immediate future, I have plenty of room here to put. And I can even put things on the other side of this brown envelope, on both sides. So really, I've got a lot of room here to work with in the next, you know, little while. that Because uh, I was thinking about creating some more pages and I still could do that. But I have actually, I have a lot of room right here where, you know, put things in, in, you know, one pocket, two pocket, three pocket, and then the whole page, and then this whole envelope. So, anyway, my point is that's a lot of room. <laughs> so, that's my friend journal. I made, measured this this morning on Maria's Live, and I think it was about ten and a half by ten and a half. So, it's quite large, but you can see I've got plenty of room for some nice big pages in here. When I open it up, it's everything's in here nicely. And uh, just plenty of room to spread things out, kind of like a, you know, like a scrapbook, but it's kind of like a junk journal scrapbook. It's definitely junk journal uh, style. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed seeing how wetter I am so far with uh, cleaning my craft room, cleaned it, that cleans up another pile off my desk. And the next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start saying in little things that I'm working on, how I'm cleaning up my craft room, because... My friend Tina said she wanted me to do a clean with me video, but I watched some clean with me videos where that you're actually watching the people walk around and do things. And I don't know if I can do that. I mean, I probably could do that, but I don't know if y'all would want to see that or if you all would like that or want to watch that. So I thought, you know, to start my clean with me type video related things, I would just say, you know, this is part of cleaning up my craft room. This is putting away my friend mail, okay? And I know I've said that in my thrifted treasure videos. I kind of just like, 
I'm showing these because I brought these home and they're sitting here for two months and now I've got to clean up my craft room. So I actually have two piles of books I need to put away from August. And so that'll be my next videos, hopefully this weekend. And then maybe as I grab piles from around my room, I'm going to be, I'll say like, hey, you know, this was on my desk and, you know, I don't know, I'll do something like that to help. If you need, uh, and if I think of a new way of organizing something, you know, like, oh, I had this, all these things are related to each other. I had them organized here on my desk, but now I'm doing this with them, you know, and give you just some, whatever I think of organizing and cleaning craft room. They're all going to be craft room related because I'm not going to, you know, clean my kitchen or anything for you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing my friend journal today and I'll let you go. Everybody have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Happy crafting.